All right, so got a little job here to do. I've got a mini excavator that we had to plane a little material off the off the block and head to straighten it out. And so now we have the pistons. Pistons to uh, we're going to need to shave a little bit off of them to give us some clearance for the valves and to bring our combustion chamber back into uh, about the same, so we end up with the stock compression ratio on this little diesel. So uh, I'm set up here. Got my DRO zeroed off, we've touched off, and I'm going to crank up 8 thou. Put a dial indicator in here as well, just to watch as well. 7, and there's 8. And my DRO only reads 7 thou. So we're going to start with that and uh, see how it looks. Oh, wait a sec, I got to do 11. There's about 11 on the dial and I got 10 on the DRO. Interesting, so it's a little bit of difference between the knee and the table, I guess, here, but we'll play around with that a little bit more. So, let's get rid of this. There we go. Throw that away. And we turn on the variable frequency drive. Take a second fire up. Kill switch. And let's start spinning. So I'm running a little two inch uh, face mill there. Feed a little bit faster. Appears to me I got a little bit of jumping around there. I'll look into that a little bit here. That's looking dialed in now. Pretty much got her. All right, so the setup procedure here. I just got a dial indicator on top, and uh, just run it back and forth across the top there. So I got about zero on the dial there. Wheel it across, and we've got about the same on the other side. Maybe one thou, one and a half ish, depending on how close I get to the edge there. So yeah, right on. Okay, so we're pretty, pretty darn good there. And ready to mill. Okay, so now we'll just touch off on top of the piston. We'll dial in our 11th thou and go from there. All right, so that's three pistons all planed down. Service finish got better as I uh, went along here. And uh, yeah, now we're ready to throw them back in the machine. So that's got the job done. A little bit of sanding, clean up the tops there a bit, and uh, they're ready to go back in the machine. Pretty happy having a milling machine. That, uh, that saved me a few hundred bucks right there.